Wave Tool Tutorials, Section 2, Main Window and Timeline. In this video, we will look at the Wave Tool main window, solo channels, and show you the timeline and instant replay. The Wave Tool main window shows the channel strips in your Wave Tool system. It has two views, panels A and B. You can choose which panel each channel strip appears on via the Wave Tool channel I.O. page. Each channel strip shows you the incoming audio level, channel name and channel image, which in most cases will be a photograph of the actor or speaker. When a wireless receiver channel is assigned to a channel strip, it shows battery life as a percentage or, if available, hours and minutes. The receiver's active antenna, RF strength level and channel quality metering, low RF and low battery alerts are shown in the channel strip too. Lastly, you get alerts from Snap, Crackle and Pop, or SCP, an algorithm designed to detect anomalies in audio. In the top left corner, there are three selection tools available. The first one is for soloing the channels. When a channel strip is checked, the audio will be sent to WaveTool's audio output device. It's possible to solo and listen to single or multiple channels at the same time. The Solo Clear button clears your solo selection. Audio groups can be created in the Groups and Snapshots menu. Now, all the group members can be soloed with a single click. If you long click a channel strip, it will be hard soloed, meaning that short clicking that channel strip nor pressing the Solo Clear button will affect the hard soloed channel. You can turn off the hard solo by long clicking either that channel strip or the Solo Clear button. The second tool in the upper left corner is the Timeline tool. When selected, clicking on the channel strip opens up the timeline. The timeline shows detailed information about the channel. If an actor profile is assigned to a channel, the upper part of the window shows the actor's real name, role name and any comments about them and lastly their photo. Below here you can see the name of the wireless receiver as well as battery life and the in-use frequency. Timeline itself shows a 5 minute history of audio level, channel quality level and received RF strength for antennas A and B. If quadversity mode is engaged, you'll see antennas C and D too. Any of these traces can be made visible or not by simply clicking the on off buttons in the upper left corner. Timeline can be zoomed in and scrolled around by using the slider and scroller below the timeline. Markers can be added to the timeline by choosing Add Marker from the Edit menu or by typing Command M. If SCP is engaged, the red alert markers will appear on the timeline too. If Instant Replay is enabled for the channel, WaveTool records the last five minutes of audio in the computer's memory. This can be played back simply by clicking where you want to listen from on the timeline. The red blinking text shows you how far you went back in time and the stop instant replay button returns you to live audio. If you want to listen to the audio later and examine it, you can export it together with a screen capture of the timeline by choosing export audio.